Welcome to Just a Few More Minutes Podcast. It's our one year anniversary. Whoa! One year, motherfuckers. We are three veterans of the animation and the video game industry. Michael got a new toy for Christmas. <laughs> uh, yeah. Here, let me just do a little thing. All right, go ahead. Get it out. <laughs> Did you get a vibrator for Christmas? Who got that for you? My brother. <laughs> Nobody in my family likes it, but I do. <laughs> I'm sure all of our listeners are loving it. Oh, nice fade out there. You're welcome. <laughs> It is. Describe what you're holding so people, because you're not just playing sound effects. No, it's like the the size of a phone, basically, yeah. And it's like a tiny little Korg. Korg is like the main synth distributor people makers. And this is the Delay Monotron. And it's just got like a a ribbon that you can press. And then there's dials on it that you can squiggle about and make noises. it It looks like a miniature keyboard down at the bottom. And then five dials that he's dialing in and out. Okay, but wait, hold on. (laughs) This, listen to this. That's what the buttons sound like on Alien, the movie. I feel like they use something like this to make the button noises. I feel like you could eventually get to R2-D2 in there. Probably. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways, so... Uh, we started every podcast <laughs> in the last year so far with an animation tip. That's Pete Paquette. Oh, yes. Well, let's introduce yeah. I'm Jeff Gabor. I'm a lead animator. No, I'm not. I'm a supervising animator of Blue Sky Studios. <laughs> uh, Michael Berardini is... Animator. Bye. At Blue Sky. And Pete is... Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Currently working Jack on of, some awesome Jack of all trades. Master of none. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Master <laughs> Bader. Oh, a year later, we still got the jokes. <laughs> so, uh, what'd you guys do for the holidays? You, you get anything good? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, me too. What'd you get? Uh, my wife presented me with <laughs> a social security letter saying she changed her name to my last name. Oh. So, That's nice. It made me made me tear up and cry a yep. little bit. Heard you got a little sad and mopey about it in a good way. Yeah. I didn't think she was ever going to do it. And I didn't think it meant that much to me. But then when I saw it, it meant a lot. Well, that's sweet. And is there pictures of it with your new camera? Oh, yeah. No. Uh-oh. I did I did get a new, uh, new camera, too. I mean, I didn't get it. I gave it, but it's mine. <laughs> oh, it's I turned thought into you mine. got it. No, I gave it to Dev. <laughs> but it's been my toy. Nice. That's cool. Speaking of cameras, I got the new GoPro. You did? You didn't tell me that. Yeah. Saving it for air. Yep. That's what friendship is. for Christmas? (laughs) Yeah, Mindy went in with her parents and got it for me. So next trip we take, I'm going to film the shit out of it. Oh, yeah. When's your your video coming out? (laughs) Ah, shit. Um, I'm going to try to put a date on it. Let's say June. (laughs) All right. Release date, June's, June is the release date for Michael's animated adventure in uh, Iceland. I was going to get there. You got it. I was going to say Greenland. I knew that wasn't right. Good job. Okay. <laughs> oh, Pete. <laughs> what did you yeah, get, what did Pete? Yeah, what did you get? I got a bunch of stuff. I got a, I got a cool uh, Nintendo game. My oh. wife got me for Christmas. Very rare. Chippendales Rescue Rangers 2. Ah, so jealous. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Although the game sucks. Oh, does it? That's so sad. <laughs> yeah, it is sad. It, like, it's very wordy. There's like cutscenes and it's super wordy. Because the first one's excellent. Yeah, yeah, the first one's fantastic. I it's love actually it. a really fun game to speedrun, too. Like if you, can, if you can memorize it, you can really blast through that game. It's fun. Oh, really? Yeah. I have to check that out on YouTube or something. Yeah, you should. It's fun. And I got a bigger TV for my living room, so Ooh. I hung it hung it over the fireplace and whatnot. Ooh. So I'm happy. What size did you get? Uh, fifty-five. 
Good. <clears throat> nice. It is nice. That's what you have, right? 65. <laughs> oh, we're comparing lengths now. Yeah, but mine's mine's uh, a lot older. I'm sure if yours was a new TV, yours is probably 4K. I don't know. I'm sure I'll have to is. look and see. I'm sure it is. <laughs> Well, I'm rocking like a 45 inch here. No, you're not. Yours isn't 45, is it? It's smaller than. It feels big. It's, well, it's just the room that it's in. Mm -hmm. What's our animation tip? Animation tip. Did you get anything else, Pete? Uh, I got a lot of cute little gifts from my kids that don't necessarily, that might seem out of place, but uh, they mean a lot to me. So, like, my daughter made me a little. Uh, uh, my, one of my favorite animals is an ant eater, so she made me a little ant eater out of clay. Well, that's cool. Which is cool. Did your daughter make that's you sick. anything this year, Jeff? Uh, she got me three Nintendo video games. Really? One of which I already had, but that's not her fault. Your that's hand. Not. <laughs> uh, over the break, she didn't shit. No. Good. Unfortunately, I was sick for all the the entire week off, so I couldn't even touch her the entire week and like hold her or anything. It sucks. That sucks. Yeah. <sighs> Oh well. Daughters. Am I right? Yeah. She's gotten feisty in the last week. A little feisty. A little crank pot. Yeah? Yeah. A little Big Mac. That's what I'm going to call her from now on. Mm, that's nice. There you go. Regardless, she still owns you, dude. Uh, yeah. Although yeah. I was trying to, like, I'll get to the animation tip, fellas. But I was trying to make myself a little salsa. Like, I was pouring the salsa. As one and, does. And uh, she was in my hand, and she decided to kick the salsa across <laughs> the goddamn kitchen, and it went flying everywhere. It did not make me very happy. Mm. <laughs> in which I immediately told her, look what you made me do. <laughs> Speaking of salsa and ingredients to salsa, isn't there a, uh, a, a, a bet that somebody lost? Uh, yeah. Yes. Jeff totally fucking okay. lost Okay, no, no. It. All right, I'm going to leave it to Diego. Diego the lawyer. Okay. He will be the decider. He is a lawyer. He is in the law. Go back and listen to the episode. The, epi the, the, the bet was yellow text appearing. It was not scrolling text. It was not... It didn't... It in no way said it had to be the episode for scrolling text. It but said it was yellow all text. implied... But you had what was when, the context what, of which we were speaking? I don't deny that. But when you're making bets, you have to go by the letter of it. And the letter said yellow text, and Rogue One is in yellow text. I think we should go by everyone we saw the movie with. Diego, I love you. If you're on my side, we're going to go with your option. <laughs> but everyone else in the movie theater thought you lost, and you have to eat the jolly. Admittedly, pens. admittedly, when. It immediately went to the story. I turned to Chris Silva and said, fuck. <laughs> but eventually Rogue One came up in yellow letters, and I then turned to him and said, I got it. By I the way, it. I really hated that title. Rogue One? Because it said Star Wars Story. No, it doesn't no. even say Star Wars Story. It just says Rogue One, which I'm fine with. But number one, the music sucked. Number two... Mm -hmm. It was like on the same layer as some of the stars. Yes. And it was it bothered the shit out of me. Yep. Uh, it did bother me. It too. looked really cheap. It did not look good. And the music in the movie was not up to par. No. Like And he's a good composer. Should we just dive into Rogue One since we're here right now? Because we never can really we throw got out to the talk animation tip it. just real quick. Okay, fine. Alright, just get it out of the way so people can stop listening to the podcast. Sure. Animate Jar Jar Binks. Go to bed. That's my <laughs> animation tip. <laughs> no, you didn't do that. Alright, I was watching a uh, a half hour. If you look it up, look it up. Uh, uh, GDC 2016 animation tips. Oh, I saw that. That was really good, right? Actually, I didn't see it, but somebody told me. About oh, it was good. Anyways, one of them I found particularly good um, is if you're working on cycles, uh, you can create. Or also, when you're cleaning, I get. I think he used it when he's cleaning up uh, a lot of like dirty um, mocap, mo yeah, and he's trying to make a cycle out of it. Basically, you can create an animation layer, and when you middle mouse drag from one frame to another and stamp a key, it basically completely recreates the key, right? Mm -hmm. Like it stamps it over. But since you're doing it on an animation layer above, uh, basically slowly throughout those two time periods, it'll morph back into the original pose, which sometimes isn't clean on mocap data. Like they try to get into the same spot, but it doesn't always happen. 
So it's a good way to like slowly make Maya morph into the original pose. Yeah. It was like very cool. And it's like, yeah, I don't deal a whole lot with cycles in my current work, but a lot of video game animators do. And a lot of our uh, TDs doing background cycles at work do. They're not dealing with necessarily like mocap data, but still that, that middle mouse drag and making sure it perfectly cycles, good trick. And I think that's valuable because like you look at Uncharted versus other games that use motion capture data and the feet are always like shaking and they're never actually like fully planted on the ground. They're always sliding around a bit. That bothers the crap out of me. But Uncharted, they take the time to lock that shit down. Hmm. Maybe Uncharted will come up later in the... Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. Probably not. That game sucked. All right, before we dive into our year in review, we can talk about Rogue One. <clears throat> yeah. What did you guys think? I really liked it. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot, too. I've seen it twice now. I liked it way more the second time than I did the first. I can imagine that, because, like, I found myself getting a little lost uh, with names and stuff like that. Since yeah, it, and it's planets. New and, characters. Yeah. Yeah, That's for sure. yeah, the first act is like all over the place. Lots of crazy stuff, as we said. No Star Wars title scrawl, which if you watch the title scrawl in Episode Four, it says everything about this story. Well, and that's the other part of the bet that's not fair. If that if that becomes Diego's decision, is apparently that information was out long ago. But I that but I didn't know that either. Hmm. I was actually because Trevor who's been on this podcast, said, like, minutes before the movie started, is like, yeah, they s- announced that there was not going to be a scrawl, and I got really mad at him, because I was like, you fucking spoiled it for me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I had a great time with it. I mean, like, the, I, I have no real qualms with it. My, my biggest gripe with the film is the uh, facial... The facial Oof. reconstruction. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was... I had... That was my pretty, my like bigger was, complaint... It, yeah. Go it ahead. Was, it was really beautiful to look at. I mean, they really nailed the, the look of it, the character, in a still frame. But the animation on it was just made it seem so plasticky. Well, and I don't think it would have been nearly as bad if they would have just pulled the camera back. Like, why did they feel they had to make every shot with that dude a close-up on the face? Every one. Uh, well, because they're probably trying to treat it like the way they would have filmed it had he not been CG. Yeah, but now... Let's be- not say who it is, though, for spoilers for people. Yeah, but everybody... It's, it broke all types of box office records. If you don't want to listen to this, listen to this for another time. Come on. And all at right. the end, too. The, at the end, that was pretty bad. The smile was goofy. Uh, right? uh, yeah. God. Uh, I hated that. Uh, but pretty much know- everything that had to like directly connect to A New Hope, I did not like. The one I genuinely enjoyed was, uh, uh, what was it, um, Gold Leader. Yeah, well, okay, that, w- that shit was cool, because they actually found footage that was cut from the movie and, like, you know, made it all spiffy and put uh, it in this movie. I was wondering, I was like, wow, that was the best CGI recreation. Because no, I was yeah. like, that, I bought that 100%. <laughs> That was cool. Like, you, Red 5 blew up, and that's how Luke gets his call signal later. Oh, shit, I did not catch that. I did not catch yeah. that. That's cool. The uh, the melodramatic Darth Vader also was kind of a turnoff for me. I Which feel part? Like Which the part? more they do with Darth Vader, he just gets fucking worse and worse. Yeah, uh, they need to leave him alone now. They they officially cannot be trusted with Darth Vader. Like, like that the, part where he where he turns around and his like hands out like this, and he's like, oh yeah, squeezing. and he says, "Don't yeah. let your <laughs> aspirations <laughs> choke or choke on your aspirations." Or yeah, no. it's like you're gonna he's got you're gonna do a pun. Hands you're gonna shit. fucking use a pun. Um, okay, so let's talk about the, the hallway scene with Vader that everyone seems to fucking love. I agree, I didn't like it. Y- good, thank you. Yeah. It just feels like something that Vader would never do. Like it's, the, the, the At the end? Yeah, when he's slicing he all would, the dudes up in the hallway. He wouldn't have pulled out his lightsaber. He no. Would have. Cause, you, know, you know what I did like about that whole sequence, though? Was the urgency to get the, the plans away from him. No, I think it's a really cool scene, and it's like they're passing it off, and they're going down the hall, and it's like thematically pretty neat. But Vader-wise, like in A New Hope, like 20 minutes later or a day later, he bursts into the fucking ship, and then he lets all the stormtroopers do all the shit, and he just walks in. Why in the world is he going after them with a lightsaber 20 minutes before? Yep. Yeah, that was weird. That was weird. And I think it was you that said it. 
Darth Vader looks like a cosplay <laughs> costume. Yeah. It didn't look right. I figured out why, though. Okay. Because in in the old movies, his his head was not connected to his, like, shoulder piece, so his head had free freedom of motion. But now they've, like, tied in his head into his chest plate or whatever. So, like, in order to turn, he's always, like, going like this, using his whole like upper your, body. Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. It's stupid. We're doing the same thing we did last year with <laughs> with episode seven. Oh yeah, <laughs> we shit on it. Yeah, we like talk it. about how much we like, and then we just spend the next twenty minutes shitting on it. Well, it's been a year of this podcast, guys. <laughs> Get used to it. Uh, what did I like? K two S O, the new droid. He was fucking cool. Genuinely awesome. funny. Yep. I have two toys of him now. Oh really? From Christ Mass. Like that's how you do Jar Jar. Yep. Yeah. He was good. And I think it's really cool that, number one, the biggest loophole or the biggest flaw logic jump in Star Wars has been, like, has a reason for it. I loved that. So, yeah. That was the first time they revealed that. Like, that was... Yeah. Yeah. It was so cool. It was actually put there for a reason and not, like, oversight on... Yeah. That was so cool. That was a good scene, too, with the... Uh... When he when they when he like pulls out the engineers and he like shoots them anyway and shit. Yeah, that was that was a good scene. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in that. Saw Guerrera, Jin's fake dad. I don't. I'm sure you guys didn't watch the Clone Wars, the TV show at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. He's actually a character from that show, which I oh, didn't really? even realize until just this morning when I heard it on some video, hmm. and I was like, holy fuck. Because, like, they're really doing the Marvel thing with Star Wars now. They had characters from Episode 3, right? Or Episode 2 in there? Yeah, Leia's dad yeah. was in Episode 3, Bail right. Organa. That kind of bummed me out. I was like, oh, now, <laughs> now they're canon. Well, yeah, but I like how they're sort of, like, acknowledging it, but also ignoring it. But the funny thing about Bail Organa is he, like, got a little bit of gray hair on his temples. Yeah. But fucking uh, Ewan McGregor... Obi Wan now looks like Al Guinness in that same amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> he aged like thirty years. Hmm. That's weird. I'm trying to think of some other things that I really liked about it. I didn't think about that. That's funny. <laughs> what was the name of the What was the name of the blind guy? I don't know. He's like uh, those two guys. I liked I him. Can't remember their names at all. He had a weird name to begin with. Yeah. I liked his character. I thought it was cool. Do you think those guys were buddies or gay? Um, well, one guy has a big gun. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. Because, <laughs> well, like, I, the first time I watched it, I didn't even, like, really consider it. And then I was listening to another podcast, and they are like, those dudes were, like, so obviously gay. And I was like, wait, what? And then I watched it again, I was like, oh, yeah, they could be. Okay, I... I don't think it was obviously gay. Didn't no, ever cross but, my mind. Like they're super sad and embracing each other when they're dying and shit. Either way, if it is true, it'd be cool to have some gay dudes in Star Wars. I'm sure there's gay characters in Star Wars, dude. Well, not somewhere yet. in there. Unless well, C3PO. Yeah, but who knows if R2 is actually a dude or not? Well, I didn't. Because he's he got a major. Well, R2 R2 takes it up his little eye hole. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, what is this episode actually about? Actually. I don't know. It's a year in review. We're going to talk about our favorite games, movies, animated films of the past year. So, we've been saving up everything we've played and seen, and now we're going to reveal our top six. Now, are we going to are we gonna talk about... Uh, things we're looking forward to as well for next episode next episode oh next episode. i didn't do the research oh jeff i got all my shit no no, no we ain't doing that <laughs> actually no i don't not for video games just for movies all right so what should we do should we do a round robin or should we go yeah let's start with pete because he'll have the worst ones I'll have the worst ones. that's bullshit <laughs> no but i'm saying he should do his number six i'll do my six. oh wait but he's only got five okay Right. Well, I'll jump in at five. Why don't you do your sixes? All right. And then I'll jump in at five. And we'll all jump in at five. 
Okay. Because Jeff, you got five, right? No, I got six. You got six? Yeah. All right, you, movies first? When I told Jeff, first. is this really loud? Uh, pro- yeah. Is it peaking? Do it again. Yeah, I can hear myself not better now. No, it's not peaking yet. <laughs> oh, Jesus, yes, it is. Sorry. <laughs> God. All right. All right, games first. Games first. All right, coming in at number six. And oh, since I didn't play nearly as many games, I'm dipping into games I played this year but may not necessarily have come Did out you guys this year. count how many games you played this year? Do you want to no. play that game? He wants to measure penises. Yeah, mine's bigger than both of yours All combined. Right. I will count. No doubt. Well, we can't both count at the same time. Maybe we can. <laughs> All right, I played 16. That's a lot for me, man. I didn't. That that is a lot of games. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't keep track of what I played this year. Oh, oh Pete. I just wrote down the ones I really liked. Go ahead. Forty-one. All right. So your your list means more. Is that what you wanted? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're a better gamer than us. Is that it what just you means? Mean? All right. Come in at number six for Jeff. Shovel Knight. Oh, old. Oh, yeah, I know. That was on my list oh, last year. Well, uh, it's on okay. my list this year. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll allow it. Alright, move. we don't have to talk about it much, but it's a 8-bit... Uh, side-scroller. Side-scroller, yeah. Action. Yeah. Fun, you're a knight, and you use a shovel to dig stuff up and bounce on people's heads. It's cool. And it they're going to cool. make a sequel. Yeah, they are. Although with Spectre Knight. Or is it a prequel? It's, I think it's actually a prequel. Yeah. But it's a sequel. Great. Okay. Great game. Do I get a drum roll? Sure. And my number six, it's Hyperlight Drifter. No oh, crossover. Oh, crossover. All right. Oh, that's not that's not on my top five. So uh, it's, it's my six. number five. So we Put can go ahead and six. talk talk about it now. All right. I mean, I talked about it a lot over the past year, but that shit's good. Top down. 16-bit? 32-bit? I don't know. Yeah, we'll go 16. Action. Yeah. You gotta be on your game to get through that. It is a tough game. I What I especially like about it, though, is the backstory of it being personal to the creator. Like, that's what sealed the deal for me in that game. Yeah. I wish it was in the game a little bit more. That's not why it's as high up on my list as it could have been. Yeah, I was... I When they first had the videos come out, I was convinced it was gonna be my number one. Yeah, I mean, stylistically and gameplay, it's much higher on my list than a 6 would suggest, but there's pretty much no story to it at all. Which is fine. It's just a fun game to get through that looks fucking sexy. Yep. Alright, Peyton, you're number 5. My number 5, don't judge me. I might. uh, (laughs) Is Super Mario Run. Ah, oh, you fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, get the poop noise. No, we gotta do that. <laughs> All right, well, hold on. Let's see if we can get that. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, that was Pete, pretty close. Tell us why Super Mario Run is any good, because I didn't buy it. I was very impressed with what they were able to do with so little, as far as level design goes. Okay. And fun factor. It is it fun. Was lo- it was a lot of fun. I had, I had, I had a lot of fun with it. That's that's the main reason why I put. Are it Are you on still that. playing it? Yeah. Our uh, yeah. a friend of the show, Drew Whiny, that we've had on a couple times, he's maxed out at nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine toads. Seriously? Yes. Get a life. That is insane. Yes. <laughs> but that, yeah, I mean, like, it's a simple game. It's a phone game, which I would have never would have dreamed in my wildest dreams that I would have included it in a top five. But, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I like it. So maybe you'll, you'll fucking appreciate new Nintendo and come around on this new Zelda and the Switch and everything. He's coming around on the switch. I yeah, can I'm coming it. around oh, yeah. on the switch. I'm, de- I'm definitely going to get in one. His chair, He's getting hard just thinking about Michael, it. Michael, for the show, what you and I wait out on 54th Street. Uh, Come on, for the you show. guys have to. You guys have to film it though. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll do like, like uh, we'll do nerd walking. 
No. Walk up and... Yeah, that'd be terrible. That makes me so uncomfortable. Yeah, that would be uncomfortable. <laughs> but it would be a good podcast. I mean, it would if I lived there, like... I would do it with you, Jeff. You can still do yeah, it. Yeah, come on down. I'll stay home. Just Actually, I probably could me. make it. Okay. I think I got... Uh, oh, this right? hasn't been released yet. Yeah, there's a so, rumor that it's going to be March 17th, yeah. which is a Friday, I think. I think I, think I got Nintendo Drew thing on January 12th where all that will be announced. Hmm. I think I commenced Drew to wait out at midnight. Yeah, but you could also just order it on Amazon. It won't come in. Yeah, it will. It's going to be the same thing as the Mini. It's going to be like, order at 2 o'clock, hit the button, it's gone. Yeah. Unless they have pre-orders, I don't... I don't see this thing being easy to find yeah. anytime I'm telling this you. year. Nintendo World Store, 54th Street. Get there at 10 o'clock Do we o'clock have to night. record stuff? No, we don't have to. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I got to talk to my wife about that. Oh, yeah. I got to talk to my wife about ditching her and her <laughs> daughter for it. All right. I got to talk to my wife about ditching them and driving four hours away. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> see you next week. <laughs> No. Oh, oh you're nice. at number five. Yeah. No, I did my number five was Hyperlight Drifter as well. Oh. Okay. All right, so so just Michael's number five. My number five is is the Witness. Ooh! Wow! Only five. Well, there's. I played a lot of good games this year, man. You did. But may I just say? Yeah. Before you go on. Oh, I saw that you were playing it. Yeah. What are you going to say, Pete? Why are you enough of this drum roll? <laughs> that the fact that you were able to platinum that game what makes you a genius in my eyes. Yay! Because I, I can't get past the second puzzle. <laughs> yeah. I, I went through all the, the like learning of how to, how to go through the black and white dots and all that shit, and I just can't get yeah, through that I puzzle. gave up, too. Well, but to be hard. fair, your hair makes a, you a genius to me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's mostly just perseverance. Trying shit over and 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 over over again until something works and you don't know why it worked, and then you just go back through and try to figure out what you did, and then you start to understand it on the harder stuff. It's just a lot of trial and error. But I'm glad you're playing it. Playing it. I'm glad both of you guys gave it a try. I did give it a shot. I just felt like I am too stupid to continue. I don't think it's true. You just got to persevere. That's my animation tip of the week, everybody. Persevere. You do that on a week-to-week basis. Yeah, that's how I keep going, man. I just got to keep you trying. Just nail, just like wear them down until they give you the final. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they can't keep the shot forever. Ah, you cracked the code. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so now we're at our number four. Now we're at number four. What was the order? Pete goes first, then you, then me? Yeah. Okay. I think so. <clears throat> Are you doing the drum roll? No. Um, All right. Number four for me was Oxen Free. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, You're an I asshole. can make this more annoying. <laughs> <laughs> number four for me was Oxen Free. Really? Oh, that came out January too. That that held its uh, held its place, huh? Yeah, I really I really enjoyed playing that game. Huh, that's cool. I played and it. I really, I really found the Ooh, the artwork to be compelling. So, yeah, that's another one where it looked sexy. Story wasn't there for me quite. I don't remember much. What? What? You can get up what? on the mic. You're leaning like right. I can't. It's like down by my dick and so like now Michael. I put it up there. Man, wait. Who had the? The rib removed? Was that Michael Marilyn Jackson? Marilyn Manson. Marilyn but Manson. Didn't. I know, but, you know. But well, Ozzy Osbourne did really chew a bat's head off. I'm sure he did. Yeah, it was an accident. He That's thought it was story fake. About it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's fucked up. Do you think he, like, dreams about it still? Well, he said he, he had remembers. to get rabies shots for, like, forever. So oxen free. That's cool. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that game. I enjoyed playing it. Yeah, it was fun. My number four, another one from years past. Okay. I need to mess it up. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Axiom Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> 
the Metroid Love Letter. Uh, really good. Fantastic. Made by... Uh, Thomas Happ, I think? Yeah, Happ. Yeah, I think that's right. I'm pretty sure his last name is Happ. It's definitely Happ, yeah. Anyways, lovely game. Lovely. Loved that putting Justin Bailey into uh, into the game actually worked and took off the guy's clothes. That made me very happy. Yeah, you do That's like really a cool. boy without them clothes. Yeah. You like to see them bodies jumping up well, and down. Just the idea that was shooting like... them guns, watching them <laughs> muscles jiggle. Mmm. 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 Sorry, what's your number four? My number four <laughs> is inside. No. You pulled your load four? on number four. I'm telling you, I've played a lot of great games. That's the problem when you guys only play fucking six games and we have a goddamn video game podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta know what beats inside. Well, you'll find out. All right. Uh, I'm gonna All call right. Abzu or whatever that fucking. All right, game save. Is. I'm saving saving <laughs> the conversation for inside till later. Yeah, that's fine because <laughs> no one knows where that's placed on yours. Number three, Pete. <laughs> Number three. Ow. It's okay. It Are good. you going to play the drum roll this time, no. asshole? Yeah. Hold on. So my number three is... <laughs> Go. <laughs> Stardew Valley. <laughs> that was weak. <laughs> you know, the thing I like about that game... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we've discussed it. We've discussed Dirty Valley. And you can marry a horse, and you can't divorce it. Yeah, it's very upsetting. It, it's, well, it's not PS4 that you can't divorce. You, you, can't, you can't cheat on it. Oh, right. It's out for PS4 now if you're interested no. in trying it. I saw that. Fun. I might if they put it out for free on PlayStation Plus. It does seem Ooh, like Titan it. Souls is free this year. Or yeah. This, this month. That, I think Titan that was Souls, on my list last of mine. year. Oh, great. Let's start. Let's let's do it. Let's get to the news. <laughs> no, no, no. I, there's not much news because it was Christmas time. Not much gaming news. All right, we'll turn this shit off. Oh. <laughs> we started playing the Zelda. That means the news is on. Go back to the drums. Okay. Somebody is trying to make a uh, a left-handed any. It's tra- doing a Kickstarter for a left-handed NES controller. Have you heard about this? No. They have eight days left. They've only made like three grand. They're asking fifty thousand dollars. So they want to put the D-pad on the right. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. No, it. Th- There's nothing about my my left hand or my right hand indicates whether I would need to press one or the other. If Nintendo would have started the D-pad on the right side, we would have all adapted just fine. No. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number three. Anyway. That's the only news I, I can think of. Great. Great. Who's number three? I just went Sturdy Valley. Okay, you're up. Number three. Ooh. Uh, uh, I got to play this over the break. Uh, uh, I give up. It's because you have to put it at the two second mark. But it's not clicking. Oh, no, it's not. I think we crashed our... Oh, sure God. Did. Is the computer crashed? No, it's just quick no, time. I can see you guys. I can hear you guys. That's cool. There goes our fart noises. Good. I'm sure the listeners were probably getting sick of it anyway. Hey, well, the, we have another way guess to make what? sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's our new drum roll. All right, number three. Enter the gungeon. <laughs> Wow, I, I would have guessed that was your like two or one. Ah, I really, I did really like it. Got to play it with my brother over the over the break. Is he better at it than me as a teammate? We got uh, right away our first first go to the level three. He's been practicing. Son of a bitch, curvy. <laughs> I think what it was is he let me pl- be player one, so I kept being able to <laughs> like find him in the treasure. Mm-hmm. So you were just carrying him. Yeah. Okay. And then, did you know what you can block bullets when you're dead? Yes. He was helping me a lot. Yeah, that's like the best part of being a ghost. Hmm. Enter the gungeon. Pick it up for PS4. It's awesome. It is fun. Too bad it's not multiplayer online co-op. Yeah, but that's harder to do. 
Technically, you mean? Yeah. Um, all right, my number three. Is everybody ready? No, I'm ready. I can't do Stop the trying I can't. to do the farts. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore. At number three, Uncharted 4. <laughs> it's not even on. <laughs> Uncharted 4 at number three, everybody. Not number one. Interesting. Ooh, crazy. What's number one? You'll find out. Can I take a guess and spoil it? No. Don't fucking <laughs> look at my list either. Uh, all right. Number two, Pete. Number two for me is a game I actually started playing uh, a few weeks before Christmas, which was Dragon Quest Builders. Oh. Have you guys ever played uh, Act Razor for the no. Super Nintendo? No, definitely not. Classic game, very good. World building, action game. Uh, total, totally reminds me of that game. I, I played it growing up, um, and I, I love the Dragon Quest universe. So uh, I was really, I'm really immersed in the uh, in the story and having a lot of fun, like building a town and protecting yeah, you, it from monsters. You've gotten really into like just like relaxing games, building stuff, and yeah. Did you play some city growing up? No, I never did. I feel like... Never played SimCity. It's funny. Like, I feel like... Obviously, it wouldn't work now for you, but... If you were this age when SimCity 2000 came out, you would have been in heaven. You would have fucking I tr- creamed your panties, man. I used to play Sim Ant on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> oh, you can't play any Sim game on no console. The, just the point-and-click aspect Because I had SimCity 2000 on my Super Nintendo. Unusable. And I've recently tried to play it. It was like, oh god, what is this? I bought SimCity 2000 on the iPhone, and it's still <laughs> even with the touchscreen unusable. Mm. Oh, speaking of iPhone, another piece of news: they are releasing every Mega Man game, mm. one through six. Not oh, well, not that every, deserves but one a through hardcore. Six. It's not working, well, Jack. Right, on the iPhone. <laughs> That's good. On the iPhone, why would you ever put I, one of the hardest franchises with touch controls? It's dumb. I, dumb. Why don't they spend that energy and make Mega Man 11? Yeah. Dumb. They're going to get a lot of stupid people to buy that. Look, I got a new fart. Oh, good job. That's pretty good, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll keep it going. <coughs> I'll buy it. I'll buy it. If we need farts. So yeah, my number two is Dragon Quest Builders. Check oh, it out if nice. you're into... Uh, if you're remotely into... Uh, you guys Minecraft or anything me. like that. I was going to say, real quick, how similar is it to Minecraft? It's actually quite different from Minecraft. Really? It just has similar aesthetic to it, I would say. Okay. But All right. It's, okay. Uh, but it's actually guided. Like, everything's guided. It's not, you know, on Minecraft, it's just like, hey, do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. It's not. It's not like that at all. You have to, like, it's an RPG, so you have to, like quests and all this shit to like help help your townspeople and get more villagers and whatnot. Interesting. Just do not fucking crash this shit, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, God, it worked. It scary. worked. That was scary. It worked. All right, hold on. No, stop doing stuff and do your number one I'm, ever. I'm trying to. There we go. Jeff, it's at number two. I got it back. I don't hear it. You don't? No. What? Just leave it. You're always worried about bad audio quality when nobody's oh, talking. Right. That's even it's not, the worst. You're right. It's not working. Not even this. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. You do this drum roll. Oh, uh, I can't do a drum roll, but I'll do a fart. Get what's your number two? Pokemon Go. Now, would Why? you ever think that a, that a mobile game would be on your top six or whatever list? Yeah, well, two now. I mean, not on mine, but you, we have Mario Run on yours and then Pokemon Go on mine. Yeah. I have not dumped this many hours in any game uh, probably since high school. What did you play in high school for so long? Lord of the Rings, the movie game? <laughs> you just had to get all those uh, probably like, coins? GoldenEye, Mario Kart, Ocar- Ocar- Ocarina of Time. Oh, good. Got it. Got Ogre, it. Ogre Battle 64. 
<laughs> wave runner. <laughs> yeah, wave runner. Oh, man, wave runner. That was the shit. Glover. <laughs> Gex sixty four. <laughs> oh, that's no. Nice. I like that. Call. Yeah, that's a good one. Castlevania. Oh. No, we don't need to talk much about it. Other than Niantic has said that they uh, will likely release the Legendary Birds soon. I don't believe them. Neither do I. I think they're going to wait till at least spring or summer for those big ones. Yeah. They're going to wait until nobody's talking about that stupid fucking game anymore. And then they're going to spring it on everybody. And then I'll come running back like a fucking battered wife. Who, who loves her her mean mean Ooh, husband? Can I give a can I give an update about my stuff? If you have, if you must. I now officially have all the Pokemon again, all the babies, and the evolve of Doga Togepi. Do, Togepi. You don't even know the names of the Pokemon. I got them though. <laughs> I got the evolve of that guy. How'd and you get all the babies? I hatched probably a hundred and forty, hundred and fifty eggs. Jesus. And during the week of Christmas, they upped the. Uh, Whatever the, the the spawn rate of eggs that have the babies in them, so I didn't didn't have to hatch as many once I got that. Oh, that's! I wish I would have known that. I would have taken the kids out more. Yeah, got them all. I think it's still got going on until the end cage. of. I think it's going on until this weekend. Okay. So any eggs you get during this week, not ones you currently have. If you oh, have ones fair. currently, they will not update. They'll be from whatever you caught them. So how many miles do you have to walk to hatch as many eggs as you did? Counter question, how many miles did you actually walk? Uh, I walked to zero. <laughs> I auto-walked and would leave it on overnight and during the day. And it would just walk back and forth from Central Park to Battery Park. Uh, but the other update is I made a new account. The update about the guy that we're always chasing in Armonk, New York. His yeah. name is Two Acres. Yeah. I made up my own account called Go Home Two Acres. So now when he battles in the gyms, he sees a really mean person saying, telling him to go home. Uh, for anyone who doesn't remember, Two Acres seems to be a, a nice retired old man who's just trying to live his life out playing video games. And now there's a punk-ass kid with spiky hair telling him to go home and die. Just trolling him and shit. He's going to be like, life isn't worth living, <laughs> goddammit. Uh-huh. I'm going to end it all. And Is it's he all- still showing up? Uh, yes. He, he knocked me out of all the gyms that I specifically put Go Home Two Acres in. <laughs> Anyways, that's my update. Number number two for me, right? That was your number two. Actually, that my thing would have made music more suiting to this game. Thumper. Ooh, I like that game a lot. That game is the best, and that's. I wish I could play it. Well, whenever you come by, Pete, for whatever reason, you'll be in this fucking neck of the god-awful woods. You'll put it on your fucking face, and you'll fly through the future as a chrome beetle, and you'll listen to the the vengeful beats of demons. In virtual reality. In virtual reality. All right, we've talked about that game, too. Moving on. Pete, your number one game of the year. My number one game of the year is is Inside. Yep, Inside. (laughs) Talk about it, then. Inside, best emotional game, atmosphere, mechanics, uh, puzzles Animation. that don't make me want to kill myself like Witness. Solvable, but difficult. Yeah, they weren't yeah. that. I thought Inside was incredibly easy compared to like it, Limbo. Well, yeah. it would be to a genius like you, you well, son of a bitch. Well, oh, thank you, sir. Well, it is a, <laughs> it's a, like a six and a half hour game, I think, right? Or something like that. Like, yeah. that's not a long game, especially for a puzzle game. Like, you don't get stuck long. Um, I, and just the mechanics, the animation. Yeah. There's nothing that I don't. I feel like that is perfect 10 in a, all categories of game making. Yeah. The atmosphere is so fucking intense, man. So yeah. fucking intense. It'd be very cool to see what they do next. Even though it took them forever to make this one. What was it? A Swedish company? I think they're Swedish, yeah. yeah. Funny right. you right. mention the amazing animation in Inside. Because if you'll recall, when I spoke of it, way back when I played it, yep. I said the animation reminded me a lot of my favorite game of all time, which is Eco. Which is a perfect segue into my number one game of the year. The Last you Guardian. You can't spoil it now. I won't spoil no, wait, it. That's not playing. 
No, nobody can hear that, Jeff. <sighs> All right, hold on. Jeff started playing it though, but he's well, too busy to do stuff. I, I was waiting till January. I've been playing it's January Dragon Quest Builders. It's time, Pete. It's time. Oh, it's time. It is time. Jeff, seriously, you want to start over? But is that? <laughs> yeah, it's working. Okay, and now say what your favorite game is at the end of this. Other podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> What was it, The Last Guardian? Yes. Uh, let's not get into it because this is our game of the month. Oh, yeah. So at the end of January, you can join the three of us in our conversation as we discuss our playing of Last Guardian. So I'm going to hold back. I have started playing it. Yep. I don't want to say how much I like it or, or hate it. it. Uh, I started writing. It's fine if you do. I, It'll hurt you. It's okay. I genuinely don't think anyone <laughs> will appreciate the game well, I mean, not to say that I'm, like, because you more named partial the to thing it. Rilo, didn't you? In your no, head, his Rilo. name is Trico. It's Rilo. It's Trico. This one won't work no more. But I started again. writing like a. It crashed again. It just stop doing it then and pay attention to the fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I started writing like an essay about why I liked it so much, and like basically the history of my my history with eco and shadow of the colossus and everything and then i just stopped writing it because i was like who the fuck would actually listen to this or read it when you become famous people think look at the early writings of michael berardini yeah so i don't know i forgot that we were going to do this monthly thing if we're actually going to do it but maybe i'll finish oh, it if we do it wait i'll finish it no, I'll finish the thing I'm writing. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Because I was like, you definitely finished it. You finish it twice now. Uh, I got through it once and then like halfway through a second time and then Christmas happened. Okay. Cool. Did you start it yet, Pete? No, I'm going to start it very soon. Cool. All right, moving on to movies of the year. Whoa! Come on, just a few more minutes. We're already just about at the hour <clears throat> mark. We need to keep this friggin' show rolling. Okay. All right, I'll go first on this one. Okay. Uh, my number six is an animated movie, Zootopia. Ah, that's a good one. I really liked it. I liked it, too. Uh, not the conventional uh, Disney storytelling. I feel like it had like nice little detective stuff, nice character development, super incredibly appealing characters. Loved it. The animation was superb. Uh, yep. Compare that to their other release, Moana, this year, and it's like... Uh, they were on to something with Zootopia. Mo Moana felt like a major step back for me. But I don't like musicals. Yeah, I mean, I will go ahead and just spoil. Moana does not make the top list. I don't think it's a bad movie, but it definitely does not make my top, top list. Nor mine. All right. Pete? Well, I only have five, so you want Mike to go oh, yeah, sure. six? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <sighs> Pete, you know it's top six every fucking week. I make know, one up. Sorry. Just make one up. All right, uh... I saw Cloverfield last night. I'll throw that on there. Uh, the first one? Yeah. You like I it? wanted to watch the first one so I could see this, yeah. the, the 10 Cloverfield Lane. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I liked think... it. Yeah. Yeah, it Did it make good. you sick? No. No. It didn't make me sick. Good. My number six is a movie I don't think either of you have seen, and I haven't talked about it at all, but it's a really good uh, thriller. The Invitation. Is it a vampire movie? It is not a vampire movie. It's about... Um, and I won't talk about every movie like this. Just because we got just a few more minutes. Uh, it's about like a guy who gets invited to... I think his ex-girlfriend or his ex-wife's house for a dinner party with all his friends. Is he a vampire? No. God damn it. It's not anything like that. But it's like really creepy and tense the whole time. And you're not entirely sure why and what's happening. But then by the end... Vampire. It gets crazy. No. <laughs> God damn it, no. <laughs> Just watch it. It's really cool. The Invitation. It's on Netflix. He's a, he's a vampire. It's not even close. Werewolf. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What this is your number five? Uh, Why don't you have stuff ready? My Am I supposed to go? Five no, Jeff is. is already been talked about Rogue One. Ah, Rogue One. Okay. 
Good. Okay. Pete, five. Hail Caesar for me. Ah. That was an okay movie, in yeah. my opinion. I, I enjoyed it. I, I liked the... Uh, I liked uh, the the forties or fifties feel to it. Yeah, that's one of those movies where. Wait, did that that came out this year? I guess since we're talking about it, right? Yeah. Maybe that's going against my argument, but me and Mindy always talk about how movies about Hollywood tend to get awards at Hollywood ceremonies because it's super mm-hmm. self. Yeah, like the artist. Indulgent. Yeah. Self aware. Exactly. Yeah. I I don't think it got any awards. I know it was like or nominated for rumored anything. for early on in the year because it came out pretty early that it was gonna be a contender, but I think there's another movie about Hollywood that is gonna steal all its thunder, which we'll get to later. Cool. Who's that? You are. <laughs> oh, it's me. Uh number five. The red turtle. I did expect this to be higher. Really? Yeah. I honestly, I completely forgot about it until this morning, hmm. and I. Spoiler I'm write alert! This shit down as like as you guys go because I want to watch some of this stuff. It, it, we're recording this. You can just listen back. <laughs> nobody, I know. nobody listens back. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Turtle, uh, made by Michael Dudok Dewitt, who made Father and Daughter a short a long time ago. Which is my favorite short of all time. Which is an excellent short, and you probably like it even more now because you're a father with a daughter. I don't think I can watch it now. I think you should. <laughs> yeah. And ride a bike while you're at it. Um, and then that director got a like random letter from Studio Ghibli and was like, "Hey, do you guys do you want to make a movie with us?" And he's like, "Holy fuck, yeah, I do." And then he made this, and it's fucking amazing. I- I'm a little upset with you right now. Why? What? Because last night you came over. And I said, the two movies I haven't seen yet are Kubo and The Red Turtle. And you told me to watch Kubo. Uh, knowing you're such a like a fanboy, I thought you'd appreciate Kubo more than Red Turtle. Not good. You didn't like I Kubo? I did not like Kubo. You didn't like Kubo? did not like Kubo. Beautiful movie. Beautiful. Not a good movie. That's, spoiler, that's why it's not on my list either. I actually had Kubo in uh, this spot until I remembered Red Turtle. I was like, oh, fuck yeah, that was way better. It's my number four. Oh, well, that's speaking of number four. Perfect Kubo. segue. <laughs> Why did you like Kubo? I was just in awe by the whole thing. Yeah, and that part, like, it's... If you can... I feel like the, the story gets a little muddled, and or it's a little hard to connect with the characters, but outside of that, it's definitely the most beautiful stop-motion film ever made. Yeah. Yep, I would agree. I think the, the first act, like, really nailed the emotion and everything. I was super into it. But then the second act, when they started adding gags and various shit to it that didn't feel tonally with what the movie yeah. was set up as it sort of fell apart for me story-wise but it's still super amazing to look at yeah totally it really did fall apart yeah and i will say it it didn't know i i, I don't feel like i knew who its audience was it was way too scary for kids yeah i don't yeah, think they it necessarily was scary. i mean my my kids my kids are uh nine and they, uh, they were really, they didn't, they didn't care for it too much. So, yeah, I like that though. They, I mean, they probably that, they do why need do the, audiences. Why do the stupid, the, that's the, true. the little kid tone stuff yeah. midway through? I agree. Yeah. All right. Well, it's no paranormal. Love it. My number four is Rogue One. No. Oh. So there you go. I liked it. It made me happy. Hmm. I wonder where it's on Pete's list. I don't know, but you're up. Yeah, it's, it's on my list. All right, we'll save. We'll save it. You always put your phone down, Jeff. I know. My <laughs> number four. Is that when I'm on? Yep. Okay, number four, Lobster. Really? You watched it? Yeah. Did you like it? I like it a lot. I mean, I guess you did. You put it on your list. Yeah, it's. I could not recommend it to anybody, no. but I really like it. <laughs> yeah. Anybody who doesn't remember, that's the movie I got in a arguing match with an elderly gentleman in the theater. I do remember that <laughs> story. Yeah, best story of the year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that movie, we watched it alone in the theater. The other couple left midway through because it was so fucking weird. 
Yeah, I mean, the premise is once you reach a parent... I mean, tell me if I... This is what I gathered. They don't really spend too much time with the exposition, but once you're no. at a certain age, you have to be married or they'll assign you someone to be married to and have no. a family with kind of... Or no. you have to be with somebody. You, at, yeah, you have to be with someone. They don't yeah. assign it to you. You have to do it yourself. But if you okay. don't, yeah. you get turned into an animal of your choice. Yes. It seems like it's a population control thing. Yeah. Mm. It's so weird. It's so cool, though. Yeah, so his thing is, like, what animal would he want to come back as? And he chose all... He would He would choose to be a lobster. Yeah. All this is in the trailer, by the way. No spoilers. Yeah. But it's great to see, does he make it in time? Does he find someone to fall in love with? And it's tonally, like, the, uh, muted. Everybody talks oh, yeah. muted. It Everything is, the, is quiet. The, Nothing ever really gets too excited. And the humor, if there is humor, is the blackest fucking humor. Yes. Dry, 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 dry. <laughs> Bone dry. The lady, do you know what scene I'm talking about? When she's screaming? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> I think that's when the other people left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. That was a good time to leave. Oh, man. And the dog? Uh, I don't remember the dog part. When it... <laughs> I don't remember. Oh. I gotta watch it again. Yeah. Anyway, that's a good one. That's on my honorable mention list. Pete, what's your number... Three. Three. Three, Four. I think. Three. three. My number three for me was Everybody Wants Some. Oh, that was one of your most anticipated... Yeah, I if we were a good podcast, we would have compared this to our most anticipated <laughs> list, but I forgot to do that. But that's okay. Nobody cares. Had a lot of fun. It's a kind of a bro type movie. Not not that doesn't have any sort of redeeming quality to it, other than uh, just fun, good times, sort of thing. Drinking with your buddies sends you back. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, still one of my favorite movies is Super Bad. Uh, it just reminds me of hanging with. I mean, my. High school was nothing like that, but it still reminds me of that kind of like carefree, just hanging, drawing dicks with your bros. Yeah, I still do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Joe is cleaning out his desk right now at work. He's switching <laughs> desks, and he said he found a pile of dick drawings. That That's I did excellent. <laughs> uh, I hope he keeps them. They're gonna be worth something someday. It's a whole lot of way to get me fired. <laughs> I should probably say this on the podcast. Way to get me fired. Yeah, a lot of stuff network. you've said on this <laughs> podcast can get you fired. I'm sure. You think? I don't know. I do worry about it sometimes. Thank God nobody listens. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it my number three? Yeah. All right, my number three. I know at the top of this, I said I hate musicals. There's an exception on this list. I saw La La Land. Oh. And I really fucking liked it. Oh, man, I wanted to see it so bad. Well, Drew has been out of town this whole time, and he's been dying to see it, because he's, like, Ooh, got a boy Drew. boner for the director, because he oh, made Whiplash. Oh, no. It's They're, like, light and day different movies. Oh, wait, I like Whiplash. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking of um, Drive. Oh. <laughs> Hate Drive. Love no, he, he made Neon Demon this year. Which I thought I was going to love, but I did not. Uh, but La La Land was really good. Like, the music, not amazing. Uh, what's his face? Ryan Gosling, not a great singer, but it doesn't matter. Ryan Gosling and Drive. Yeah, there you go. Oh, weird. Not really. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, Kevin Bacon over here. What? Like, you connect. Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. Yeah, there you go. There it is. <laughs> Uh, but the movie's basically like an ode to all the creative people who want to be a part of the creative industries, be it movie or music or whatever, and it's really cool. I liked it quite a bit. Way more than I thought I would. Way more. Immediately bought the CD afterwards. You know, that's that's cool. I'll check it out. Uh, what? When did that come out? It came out like couple weeks ago maybe more than that around the holiday yeah. season yeah it's pretty new that's cool yeah it was a good one what's your number three jaggy number three hunt for the wilder people oh i got that on netflix but i haven't seen it yet like it yeah it's good 
That was a gift at our Christmas white elephant. It was. I almost got it, but then You'll it got enjoy. stolen from me. Well, I won't spoil anything. Just watch it and enjoy. Okay. Everybody talks what it, what it, what kind of what genre is that movie? <laughs> Dramedy. Yeah, yeah, Wes Anderson. -y. Oh, okay, cool. But directed by what's his face? Waika Tikla, something like that. Sure. I'm sorry if that's totally wrong, but he's directing the next Thor movie. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that is weird. It gives me hope that a Thor movie will be cool and funny. Pete, what's your number? Whatever. Uh, three. The number two is Rogue no, One. No three. For me. Fuck. No, I know he. Oh, that already one, did uh, three, right? I already did three. Yeah. Wait, you were supposed to go. No. I just did my three. We're on oh. two. We're on two. I guess. It doesn't matter. Okay. Mine's Rogue One. Go ahead. <laughs> Great. Okay, so now it's back to me then. Uh, sure. Well, I feel like we I went out of order. We fucked something up. Who cares? What's your number two? Two. Ooh. It might be your number one. No, I haven't done my number two. I'm saying my two, my two might be your one. Oh. Okay. Clue. Is that your one? Clue? Oh, fuck, that's not even on my list. Oh, wow. how did you not let it? I didn't even write it down. Swiss Army Man, num number two. Dude, I actually just got it on Blu-ray in the mail today. <laughs> you didn't remember to put it on your list. <laughs> nope. Uh, Whoops. Nearly, like, this very nearly could take over number one, but for personal reasons, I just feel like, no. But it is, I love Swiss Army Man. Yeah, we were talking about having a, a movie night with it sometime soon. It is good, and you would never suspect such a heartwarming, in-depth movie could be all about passing gas. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Uh, my number two is The Witch. Horror. Is that a horror? I don't watch yeah, it is a horror. I, I mean, it's that. not really that scary, though. But it came out, like, January 5th of 2016. And I I still think about it constantly. I think it came out February... 26th. I'm pretty sure I saw it still on Christmas break last year. Look it up. Okay. Release date. Who's closer? Is this for the, all the marbles? This is for all the jalapenos, <laughs> motherfucker. No, it's not. not this one. <laughs> Come on. Uh, the Vitch. February. Why? I know it. I can feel it in my genitals. Why would you even <laughs> feel like you know this at all? Wait, why is it? Uh, <laughs> did I nail it? What did you say it was? I said 26th of February. It's the 19th of February. Uh, I have a weird thing about that. Why do you... What? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. What are you guys talking about? The movie. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about I when this tell, movie came out, I can out, put Pete. myself in the state of mind of when you asked me to go see that movie. And I was like, it felt like February. Did I ask you to see it? Yeah. All right. Well, it's good. It's streaming on Amazon now, so I highly suggest everyone watch it. February 19th? I don't remember. Yeah, you were right. You were closer. That was when I conceived my baby. Oh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what that was leading to the whole time? <laughs> Let's go see a horror movie, movie and bang. <laughs> uh, all right, Pete. What's your number one, my friend? Zootopia. Zootopia. Yeah. That's, that's like my favorite movie. Yeah, it's good, it's, right? I loved it. It's a, it's like the perfect movie, in my opinion. Chad Sellers was up for uh, for an Annie for his work in that movie. Mm, I was oh, watching really? the reels yeah. today, but I didn't get to his yet. Good for him. That's awesome. Yep. Pretty neat. That sloth you know, I, you know I trained that okay. guy at, 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 at uh, on Ice Age 2? Yeah, you did. Yeah. So really, his nomination is your nomination, Pete. Yeah, he couldn't have done it without you, Pete. Say it. That's true. That's true. Much like PJ's <laughs> nomination last year was was your nomination as well. Yeah, you're yeah, linked link to little, everybody, man. I'm a little drunk, so it's okay. That's all right. That's you, true. You're nominated for an Annie, Pete. You can get as drunk as you want. I Go. will never be nominated for an Annie. <laughs> It'll never happen. That time has passed, and I'm okay with it. It'll happen. What about the game you're working on right now? That could be nominated for an Annie. What are you working on right now? You can't tell us. You can't tell us. You never tell us. I'm working on League of Legends. 
Oh yeah. No, so that won't be nominated. Well, they could submit it. They're, yeah, but, the, but it's but a I running don't think thing. They do. I don't. Yeah. I don't think a lot of the games industry like they they don't really care about the ends. Yeah. Well, yeah. So you could get them to you you foot the bill, be like, hey, I'll pay the the money to get my shit sent in, and then you'll like trounce the four fucking games that get nominated every year. Yeah, because think about all your friends in the animation industry. We will vote the fuck out of you, Pete. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we'll see what happens. (laughs) He likes it. I can tell he likes it. (laughs) Pete, he likes it. Uh, my number one, The Little Prince. Oh, nice. That fuck, that's not on my oh, list either. Fuck, I left that off my list. <laughs> Dude, I went I through forgot such I saw it. painstaking difficulties to come up with this list. Hmm. Well, it, it fits. A lot of people are overlooking that movie. Well, uh, yeah, completely off the best animated film for a Sifa, which to me completely invalidates all of a Sifa. That's right. Like Man, I forgot about that movie. I'm pissed. Dude, it, it pissed hit me at the self. exact right time, and it did it make you cry like a fucking baby. Uh, yeah, 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 it did, and has very personal meaning. I feel like, like it does, it reaches into you and like gets into like a personal space. Um, did you read that book at all? Uh, I haven't read it all yet. I have it though. Mm. Uh, the or book at least is. I'm borrowing it. I'm borrowing. Phenomenal. It. Phenomenal. Never, never read Amazing. it. Amazing. I yeah. think it's cool that the movie it, like totally works, even though I had never fucking heard of the book before the movie. Yeah, it does. So, so that's cool. I'm very glad that uh, it came into my life. Hmm. Getting all teary-eyed right now, you motherfucker. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm gonna prod you and get you to cry on there. No, that won't. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was a baby crying at first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my uh, number one Rose. Uh is Arrival. I didn't see it. Oh damn it, I wanna see that movie so bad. <laughs> I thought it wasn't getting that well received. Uh no, I think like it had probably still has like ninety seven, ninety eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, shit, does it? Why are there nobody talking about it? Um, I don't know. Actually, Andy at work today was like, I just saw Arrival. Boy, that movie sucked. And I was like, all right, fuck this. I'm out. And I just walked away. Mm. But he's just inflammatory. But I really liked it. (laughs) That kid hates pandas. Yeah, he does. He's a turd. He's a flying turd. But I hate pandas. See, you can't trust anything that guy says. Nope. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. He must like Duran Duran. Probably. Yeah. (laughs) Duran (laughs) Duran. Depeche Mode. Depeche mode. <laughs> oh man, just the thought of that makes me want to slip my wrists. Whoa, jeez, Petrie. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that what that music is all about? Like you know, goth and all that shit. Yeah, I don't. Know. What's that song? Um, Enjoy the really. silence. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Words are spoken <laughs> to be broken. <laughs> Yeah, words can only do harm. Yeah. You're adding feedback to an audio podcast. All I ever wanted, <laughs> all I ever needed is here in my arms. <laughs> Words are very yeah. unnecessary. He's making they fun of it, but he knows the lyrics. They do harm, motherfucker. Oh, man, you nailed that Depeche Mode. Wow, you throw that out. Did people. you pull those lyrics up, Peter? Or are you like shitting on your favorite band to look cool? No, no, I just, my sisters used to listen to Depeche Mode. So I know the lyrics to some of them. Mm. To that song, anyway. All right. I'll allow it. You got a good voice, Pete. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's the first time you've ever sung for us. Well, is it? Mm, Yeah. I think so. 
There Tick, you go. Tape. Enjoy it. <laughs> I, I'm I'm like three sheets to the wind right now, so it's good. Well, Pete, speak whatever's on your mind. I'm sure it's gold. What's Tell us. My mind? Let's talk. Let's rap about this podcast. Okay. It's been a year. It's hmm. been a year. We've done over 25 episodes. Yeah. What what episode is this? 25? <laughs> 26? I don't, I don't know. Uh, um, either way, we've done a fair amount. Let's let look see. up. Just... Yeah. Jaffum output. Yeah, this is 26. Okay. 26, we had a uh, an A episode. Well... My opinion on the on the podcast, yeah, is that I don't I don't care if we get listeners or not. I just enjoy. I, I feel like it, it 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 connects us. You know what I'm saying? It make it makes me part of you guys' life, which is it's fantastic, true. and I love it. Well, I like it, Pete, because we didn't really know each other very well before this podcast. That's very true. Now we do. That's very true. And yeah, we're so gonna keep old, going because so we new paid friends became two old years. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> we paid for two years. Yeah, we did. We paid for two years. Yep. All right. So we got two one, years of podcasting, one and then more to go. and then I'll be like, "Hey guys, do you want to still spend the uh, two three hundred dollars? Are you interested <laughs> still? Do you still want to be my friend?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna pull this friend shit on us. <laughs> No, I feel like we got some good stuff coming up. We're, in the next year, we're going to, or at least I think next episode, we're going to do our most anticipated games and movies of the next year. Uh, we have our game of the month. Um, we have the Thermi Challenge going to make a return. We got some good episodes coming oh, up. Oh, cool. The Thermi Challenge. I love that. I don't. I do not <laughs> like it at all. We, it doesn't always have to end in hot, hot peppers. No, I think it, it does. In... I think that's exactly how it should end every <laughs> fucking time. Yeah, but Pete <laughs> won't do it. Uh, yes, he will. Why wouldn't I do it? That's right. Well, you say that now when you're three sheets to the wind. Well, <laughs> let's see if you can handle three peppers in your hole. Can I just say, because last time the Thermi Challenge was solely between Pete and I, and the last bet was between you and I, why am I always the fucking one that could very well do it? Do I think you the want next to one. produce the next Thermi Challenge? Yes, I do. Okay. Get a good person. Patch oh, wait, board. fuck, I forgot about... We yeah, have to ask people questions and yep. shit. You gotta get your iPhone, record them. Can't we just make bets? Now, will it, will, now, will it always be the, called the Thermi Challenge, regardless of yes. who's the person? Okay, yeah, great. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, hey, Pete, your shirt. Yeah, the Extra Life. We gotta do our winners. Yeah. I gotta announce... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was the best look Jeff ever gave. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> so, I'll just do mine right now if you're not prepared. If you follow me on Instagram, though, my thing is printed and framed on canvas, and it looks sexy. But also, I went on to the Extra Life thing, and since it's the new year, I can't actually email the winners. <laughs> They've, like, locked me out of that. Oh, that sucks. So, I'm going to announce the winners right now. Hopefully the winners are listeners. <laughs> <laughs> because both of them are anonymous. <laughs> oh, good. So, if nobody steps up in the next, like, couple weeks, I'm going to redraw it to someone with an actual name. But the first winner is the anonymous person who donated $1,000. Please step up, anonymous 1000 the other person is an anonymous person who donated five hundred dollars. I'm sure they're both going to remain anonymous. No, That's the whole point. No, why would they? You they just don't want to take part in the raffle, or they would have given you their name. No, maybe they just went anonymous to not have their name show up on the website, but they still wanted to be part of it. I don't know. Step up if you want some sweet ass fucking art. There's only two of them in existence. Two. Oh, Pete. Was that a fart? <laughs> yeah, it certainly was. You can. <laughs> are you on a wooden chair? <laughs> no, I'm in a. I'm in an Aeron chair, man. <laughs> I love how proud he looked after that fart too. 
<laughs> oh, you're sick. I don't like it. I'm getting better, man. Cool. All right. Anonymous 1000, Anonymous 500. Great. Yeah. Who are your winners, Jeff? I do have a bowl upstairs I can draw a name. Do you want me to go get it? Is it in a bowl? Yeah, Is it a person, I really don't want to do it more than we have to bleep it. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you really want me to go get it or no? Sure. Where is it? It's in the living room. That's not helpful. You know the shelves? Uh, there's a lot, but sure. It, right next to the TV on the right. Okay. Hello, Jeff. Seriously, Pete, you have to bleep it out. If if it's someone I don't... If I, I can't do art for people I don't know. Oh, if it's somebody you don't know, you don't want me to... Oh, man. It'd be so terrible. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I appreciate everybody's donations. I'm kidding. How good was Little Prince, though, right? Yeah, dude. It was so good. Man. It was so good. I, I'm actually really bummed at myself for not... They had a uh, float in the Rose Parade. Did it? Yeah. That's cool. For I didn't film. see ne the Rose Parade. Yeah, Netflix produced it. Yeah. That's all awesome. right. So here we go. <sighs> <laughs> all right. These guys are just whispering sweet nothings. To <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. You can hear it. There's lots of papers. They're written on post it notes. Names are written down with amounts given. All right. Here we go. Reaching in. He's not looking. He's got something. Oh, that's great. All right. Dan Lima. He didn't do any of mine. Congratulations, Dan Lima. I will make a custom Nintendo cartridge, 8 bit cartridge, based on your request. That's awesome. He's going to like that. That's great. Didn't he just fix our arcade cabinet? He did. He fixed our arcade cabinets at work. He's very into retro games, so it's a very fitting winner. Sweet. That's awesome. Congratulations, Dan Lima. And now Michael's confirming that there are other people written down. Who nope. else would have won? They're all Daniel Lima. <laughs> <laughs> oh, second name that was drawn was Brock Goitz. That's unfortunate. Sorry, Brock. You missed it by one. It's too bad. Then Jamie Geiger. Nope, he missed it by two. Mama Gabor. My mom lost. Goose. Uh, Deb's mom lost. I'm not going to go through the rest. All right. <laughs> well, this has been a good podcast. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it. We're back. 2017. Tweet, tweet us your top list of the year. Any New Year's resolutions you want to quickly discuss? Uh, actually, there was one thing that I've been thinking about. Hmm. I need to think before I speak more, but that's not very good for podcasts. No. But in my personal life, I'm going to try to do that, maybe. That's good. Except that sometimes maybe you'll stifle your feelings. And we, don't want, we don't want to pent up Michael Bergardini. That's true. Because then you build up resentment. I've seen you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pete? I need to drink more during the podcasts. I think you do, too, man. <laughs> yeah. It feels good, right? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's not going to feel good tomorrow, though. Our one note <laughs> that I get when you drink is, you're way funnier when you're drunk. And you talk more, too. <laughs> hey, you know what? What? Thank you. Oh, I thought he was going to fuck again. <laughs> <laughs> I think he tried, but he couldn't. So if I fart, so I'll crazy. piss myself. Right <laughs> I am so full of beer. Oh. Well, my New Year's resolution is the same as it's been the last two years. For the love of God, try to keep my zipper up. <laughs> I forget to put my zipper up so often, and I, I did a very good job last year. It was my best year so far. I don't think so. I think I've told you your zipper was down at least twice, three times in the past year. That's three too many, man. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you forget to put your zipper up, man? Okay, this this one, look, this one's half, it's do, halfway. Why this do I have halfway. to look at your crotch? Look, it's halfway. Yeah, I see These it. These are my American Eagle jeans. I need to retire them. Because these ones unzip themselves. So it's not my fault. On these Ooh, ones. that's no good. That's no good. Whenever you have pants that unzip themselves, you need to retire that shit. Yeah, yeah, those are rapey pants. You don't want those. No. Though they're too tight is what it is. I've gained weight. Oh, you're a chub. 
Yeah. And chubby now, boy. Like they slowly pull and they're like trying to hold in my belly and they just unzip themselves. <laughs> <laughs> the dick doesn't come out, just more fat. Yeah, it's not. You know, having, not having, uh, getting, gaining that weight from the child is that much harder to take off. Mm. Why? I've been told that. <laughs> <laughs> As he drinks more. <laughs> <laughs> all right this has been just a few more minutes podcast where three veterans of the animation and video game industry talk about exactly that animation and video games and we'll be back for another year to hang out and talk schmack <laughs> yeah and game of the month that's a good thing i'm 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 all be- i'm very behind that yeah join us up to play last guardian you got four weeks left excellent yeah totally Sweet. All right. Peace out, Cub Scouts. Bye. Later.